Hello and welcome to a C++ tutorial. Uh, sorry if you can hear background music. There's people uh, playing music in the background, but I will try to talk over them. So in this tutorial, we are going to be learning how we can use the switch case and also learning about random numbers. So let's start off with our includes. We'll do pound, include, and then not that, ios, well, ios stream pound include um what else do we want uh c s t d lib i think it is i believe that's what it is and also include time there we go and then we want to just say our using names uh oh whoops include c time include c time. Then we say using namespace std and then do our int main function and there we go. Now with that we got that all set up. Let's go over with let's go over how to use the switch case um, function. So the first thing so what this is going to do is it's going to first ask the user um, generate enter 1 to generate a random number between or just a random number 1 to 10 and then we'll do the slash n there to create a new line and then we'll also say we could just copy this here say enter 2 to create a number 1 to 100 and then enter 3 to create a number 1 to 1000. And then see out enter here. And then up here we want to int u input like that. And then here we want to see in u input there. So now that we have that all set up, um, if you ever use Visual Basic, it's a lot like the select case statement, except instead of saying select, you say just switch. So what we say is we're going to say switch, and then we want to say what variable we want to switch. Switch u input, and then we will create brackets down here. And then to do u input, we can do cases now. So we'll say for case 1, so if they enter 1, we want brackets for case 1. And actually, I'll put these there, get my spacing right. And I prefer if everything was like out here just to get spacing correct like that. Okay, so in case 1, how do we want to create a random number from 1 to 10? Well, we we have to use um, we have to use this function so we have to say s s rand so create a a random variable basically of a static static oh my god I can spell today static cast of an unsigned int which is going to seed it with time or with the current time. So let's go ahead and comment why we need this here. So we need this to seed random number with current time because uh, computers use don't actually have random number generators. They can't just pull a random number out. They use something called a pseudo randomizer. So in order to make sure that that number is randomized, because they'll choose from a number list and they'll always start from the beginning. So when we include this here, we'll start from the beginning, but we'll influence or we won't start from the beginning, but we'll influence the start of it by the current time, because the time is always going to be different, whether it's with down to like um, the uh, what's the millisecond. It's going to be different down to the millisecond. So we want to say that time zero is how you reference the current time. So now that we that we got that there, we can create an int rnd nom one, and that will be equal to a rand to just rand, or no, that will be equal to, oh yeah, rand function mod, 
and then we said this was 10 plus 1. So this will create a random number from 10 to 1. Int rnd num1 rand mod 10 plus 1. And then we'll see out generated number randomly generated number and then rnd num1 and we'll end line okay so that sh so that should work and then we just need to add the other cases so we'll say for case 2 and then we'll add our brackets in there and it doesn't want to do the spacing we don't have to add the brackets but for simplicity's sake we want to also we have to break at the bottom so we know to end it there so break at the bottom then we can actually just copy this down right here and paste it right about here and then instead of 10 plus 1 we want to say 100 plus 1 like that and then we can copy actually the whole case here and then paste that down here and say case 3 and then we want 3 to be 1000 okay so and then we also <coughs> excuse me then we also have to add break down here and <coughs> break down here alright so this should work Oh, actually I forgot the last part after you're done with all your cases you just want to say default so this is what's going to happen if none of the what you uh, specify if they don't enter one two or three then you'll say see out invalid and then let's we'll create a new line so yeah if we run this and it runs okay then we want to create a random number between one and 1 and 10, we enter, oh, whoops, I forgot to put system pause at the end here. So now, number 1 to 10, 7. Number 1 to 100, 76. Number 1 to 1,000, uh, 789. All right, so yeah, our random number generator works. Just to make sure, let's do that one more time to make sure we don't get the same numbers. We got 2 the that time. Then we got 22 that time, and now we got 832 that time, yeah. So it's more pseudo-random, it's not actual random. And if you wanted them to like infinitely be able to enter it, then you could put this under a loop, basically saying like, while they're not, while it's running, then just keep doing this and keep asking them, but um, I'm running out of time for this video. So yeah, that is basically how you can use the switch case statement as well as random numbers. All the source code will be down in the description. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. See ya.